So well, on today's show, the five tips to become the best salesperson ever on planet Earth, period, boom. Yeah. There you go. Let's do that. Come on now. Let's, Let's do it, it. man. Let's Join hit it. In what do you got for us, Cody? Let's yeah. do it. Well, thank you guys for having me, man. I, I love the show. Love you guys. Love, we've been hanging out the last few days, and it's been unbelievable. You guys are amazing, hilarious, crazy, uh, <laughs> and, and super caring. You know, and, and what you're doing is special. Okay, so those listening, keep listening. Okay, uh, <laughs> I would you. say tip five tips, man. Tip number one, and I know Roger will appreciate this, understand the value is in the relationship. Like the relationship piece of what we do is always the most important thing. I mean, we've been we've been hanging out since early 2017, four mm-hmm. years now. Yeah. Simply because we both invested in the relationship early on, not knowing any any you know any idea where it would lead. Mm-hmm. We just knew we both knew that that you know the values in the relationship. You guys do an amazing job of investing in in your people from a relationship standpoint, right? From a sales standpoint, if you're an agent listening, right? Which which you probably are. Uh, I mean, you, you, the whole point of the cell is to build rapport, find common ground, get someone to know, like, and trust you. Like, that is the piece, man. So it all starts. The cornerstone of every cell is the relationship. What are what are some ways that you found over the past uh, – math is hard this early in the morning, but uh, let's call it 11 years, 10 years? Sure, yeah. 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 Um, that you found are, like, some great or great ways to build the relationship – um, or even maintain it kind of throughout the sale and after. Yes, I feel like the best way to build rapport, because everybody always asks me, like, well, okay, you say rapport is important. How the heck do you build it, man? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, the best best way to build rapport is to to ask good questions and then shut up and listen. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut up! It, it really is, right? That, that, yeah, if you, if you didn't see it on Instagram, uh, then you got to go follow me at Cody.Askins on Instagram, oh, and you'll see what we're talking is. about. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's it's that piece, right? Like it's that's 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 where it all starts. Uh, but I always build rapport by listening to people. Like so many people want to talk. I hire salespeople every single week, and they're like, "Dude, I got the gift of gab. I can talk to anyone." I'm like, "Holy crap, you're cursed. It's <laughs> awful. It's not good, man. Like the best salespeople talk the least." Yeah, the best salespeople ask the best questions, and then they listen, and then they formulate their solution around the answers. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, when, when Cody and I, uh, when I first met Cody, um, you know, he was doing YouTube videos on his back porch on sunny nights. <laughs> I got to bring you that know, back. <laughs> from the little, from their, their place. And he's just doing videos live. They were mostly live. Always live. Facebook back live. Then. It was like YouTube 9, live. 10, 12, 15 people on there listening. And I was like, who is this guy? What is he doing? Yeah. And he just kept doing it. So, Cody, I think the thing that I appreciate about you the most is that you've invested in continuing to give value constantly Thanks, by putting it out there. And uh, that's created a lot of relationships for you um, by you giving value and showing up and showing up and showing up. Like, you're always showing up. And so the, the, uh, the moral of this whole story is when you're in, uh, in any type of sales, um, it always starts with what can you do for them, not what they can do for you. That's right. And if you lead with that, it's always a win. So, so true. That's one of the big reasons why we have done what we've done from a uh, YouTube standpoint is because I've known, right, even when we had 351 subscribers in, in the first 365 days and dozens of listeners, dozens, that as long as we kept putting out the content, that we would be able to help tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of agents one day. It's kind of like insurance, man. Like the people listening, like life is going to get really good. You're going to help a lot of people. You're going to make a lot of money. You're going to change your family's future forever. Create a lasting legacy that's unbelievable. Unless you choose to throw in the towel and quit. Yeah. 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 And and we'll talk about this in a bit, but that's where the idea kind of for your 8% that's right. nation came from is that I, I think you said the stat is like 92% yeah. of insurance folks just – Decide to yeah, quit. The first they three years, throw yeah. in the towel. Yes. Um, and if if you were like, man, you know, I I only am getting X amount of views on this YouTube video. Like, you know, no one's watching my stuff. I'm just not going to make any more videos. You wouldn't be at thirty thousand <laughs> subscribers on your YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, you just got to keep going through it and learning. And and you know, I think we've talked about this this week of just like. Looking back at your first YouTube videos and like, oh my gosh, <laughs> to what you're producing today, like, you know, but the content, the value was there and you just got to keep doing it. And the same way for our clients, the value of the products we sell yep. is there and it's there for their family when they're not there. 
Right. So you just have to keep getting out there every day, believe in your product and have the conviction and build that relationship. Uh, one thing that uh, Coach Burt said this week that I thought was a great kind of um, overcoming an objection is, oh, well, I already, I already have insurance. I, I have an agent. Okay, well, um, you know, quick question. Um, you know, I'd love to be your agent. When's the last time you talked to your agent? Mm. You know, oh, it's been a while. Well, you know, all my clients I'm reaching out to regularly. Like when you have me as your agent, I'm your agent, but I'm your like life agent. So you're going to hear from me regularly. I'm going to check in because you are valuable to me. Our relationship is valuable. And it's not just this product that I'm using to cover your family. Yep. But it's also our relationship to make sure that, you know, you're doing well. You know, he really focused on this piece that we're talking about. The value is a relationship to overcome, you know, an objection like I already have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, so. you're not just saying it, you're doing it, you yeah, know? I mean, exactly. e- even the whole even the whole YouTube thing is, is, is a lesson for the agent listening. Like, I didn't know anything about doing it. I wasn't any good. I'm stuck and I'm still half as good, if not 10% of the, as good as I'm going to be, you know? But I showed up and did it anyway and didn't get lost in all the details. Like, I have this new phrase I coined when I was on my Texas training tour, speaking to 600 insurance agents, uh, well, that registered. I don't know, you know, that, 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 that <laughs> made it actually show up. But on that tour, I talked about how details delay. Mm-hmm. Right, details delay. I'm learning that from you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the more you think about all the things you got to do, the less like you are to go do them. You know, so. Yeah, I mean, the amount of agents that are like, "Well, I have to perfect my presentation, and I have to buy the perfect leads, and then I have to, you know, leave at this time every day." Like, mm-hmm. just get out there and do it. Get yeah. out there and do it. Never gonna be never never gonna be perfect. For context of Austin's comment about Coach Burt, we are here in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee, right. this morning. On a beautiful sunny day, it's blasting in here. It as, is, and it's crisp and cold outside. Uh, we're in a little bit of a snow—I don't know what to call this. Snow looks like your motherland. Yeah, it looks like Canada <laughs> on a bright, you know, February day. But we're actually in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, we're down here at Coach Bird's Personal Interest uh, Boot Camp, and then we stayed on for Sales Mastery with this guy, Thanks, buddy. Coach Bert. And so that's that was the reference point there, and it's been an incredible. An incredible three days. Uh, we're going to have them to learn. on the podcast as well. Yeah, so and so we're investing exciting. in that relationship yeah. too. Yep. You know, and and Thank again, you. back to our back to our listeners, um, the relationships of the people around you in your organization. If you work with a group, if you work with a team, uh, lean into those people who are producing. Lean into those people who have good character, who work hard, who show up, who you know make things happen every week. When things get tough, they put their you know they they lean forward, not lean back. Those are the people you want to lean into when, when it comes to your client relationships. Yep. Lean in. How can I serve the client? Who else in their families can I serve? Like, understand that the value is always in the relationship. Um, I can't stress that enough. Yeah, I think that brings us really well transitioning to tip number two, if I may. Oh, yeah, right? go for it. Is to invest in training. You're here investing in training. Yeah. Um, and the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I've personally been to a numerous amount of Events, conferences, retreats. You're so modest. Like Look. in everything you you do, Cody, you are so <laughs> modest. I'm like, yeah, I've, I've been to quite a few training. You know, spent some spent a few dollars on you know investing myself. <laughs> like <laughs> the amount that you've invested in yourself is insane to me. Um, it's it's gotten you to where you are today. Thanks, buddy. I've been thinking about okay, how much has I've actually invested like the last three years? Because I've seen everything change the last three years. Like the last 36 months mm-hmm. have been life altering. And I've probably invested close to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars just in me. I'm not talking team. I'm not talking ads. I'm not talking a conference. I'm not talking anything else. I'm not. I'm not talking Holy the. Holy smokes! I'm not talking the fifty grand a week we spend on staff. Mm-hmm. I'm not even talking about that. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. like I'm just talking about all the things I'm doing: hiring coaches, going to fifty thousand dollar masterminds, paying twenty one thousand dollars for conference tickets, like all the twenty five thousand dollars for coaching programs, like all this other stuff. Because, as I heard one of you say last night, we are our most valuable asset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's us. Mm-hmm. It's us. Yeah, you're, you're your biggest potential. You're your biggest asset. God gave you unique giftings and abilities, and if you don't realize the the opportunity to invest in that, and, well, if, I mean, you could you could go with GameStop, right? You could go with <laughs> yeah. AMC. Like, we're all going to get rich. Let's do that. No. Right. And you see what happens. It's up and down, right? It continues to go up and down. But when you invest in yourself, when you invest in yourself, you get the highest return every time, every time. 
five years ago when I was first exposed to this idea of sales, sales training, conferences. Um, I, I was invited to go to a business seminar, and I was blown away. I was blown away by the speakers. And um, we're going to talk about maybe one of your guest speakers coming Come on up now. on the 8% virtual yes. soon. That, that impacted my life, Les Brown. Yes. And uh, I got to see Les Brown give his talk on uh, It's Not Over Until I Win. And I got goosebumps right now just saying Dude. that, okay? Like right now Such just saying that. Such a good title. <laughs> Boom. I mean, it was powerful. I mean, there was a thunderous standing ovation at the end of that thing that I will never forget. I will never forget it. I lived in that moment. It was etched. And I spent... We spent probably 300 bucks then for Rosemary and I to go to that. And on t- that was the tickets. And then we had to get hotels and food and the weekend. And, you know, like it, was, it, it wasn't easy to make the decision to go. I didn't know what I was going to get, but I went and I was just blown away. And ideas were planted. Mm. Experiences were had that I will never forget. And it was the impetus to launch the career, you know. And I started investing in myself. I was putting about 60 bucks a week into audio. And... Uh, I was putting another 150 to 200 bucks a month going to seminars. Every month I would go to a seminar. And we would drive four or five hours away to go to these things for training. Jeez. And I was doing a book of the month club then. And, you know, that's where I started reading some of the, the, the great books that, that I've, I mean, I've got, my shelves are full of them. And then and, it's overflowed into the office. Yeah. <laughs> so, but these things are life changing. And when you realize that you are your biggest asset, do not skimp on that, man. Do not yep. put a price tag on that. Um, but yeah, man, invest in training. And I know some people like we go to college guys for four years, right? We rack mm-hmm. up hundred thousand dollars in debt, mm-hmm. and then you you spend the next ten years trying to pay off your student loan debts. Um, and you think, is it applicable when only twenty seven percent of the college graduates have a degree in the area of their mm. study? Only twenty seven percent. Sixty two percent of them don't even have. They have sixty two percent of college graduates have a job that doesn't even require a degree. Yeah. And yet this is the system that we're in. So what training can you invest in here in, in this business? Because if you're listening, you're already in this industry. So, totally. Right? Well, what can you do to invest to accelerate your growth, man? And, and what's, what's some ways that they can invest, Cody? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, immediately for free, well, March 5th and 6th, we've got oh. 8%, 8% virtual at 8percentvirtual.com. Uh, the number 8% spelled out, virtual.com. Les Brown, as you mentioned, just, Man, just, just released. Man, I was so excited when you announced that. Just released. Yes. Thanks to Roger. You, you, you helped uh, <laughs> get that ball moving, so That's thank you. That's awesome, okay. man. Uh, Roger Short, who's your uh, you know fearless, fearless leader here, is, and Chris Ball That's are good. both on it. That's fantastic, man. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Uh, Brian Tracy. Boom. Sales legend. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And one of, one of the foundations to your sales career. Totally. The, I, I, my first book I ever picked up sales-wise was The Art of Closing the Sale by Brian Tracy. I used a lot of his training techniques from that audiobook, and that shift changed my life. I was able to interview him recently, and it was so surreal. Like, I'm sitting there just getting goosebumps listening to the guy. Like, why am I talking? Why am I asking any questions at all? Why don't I just shut up and listen to this yeah. dude? Like, you know, when you're in the presence of an expert, like, that's what you do. You know, you just, you're just like, you just sit there with like your mouth open and all, and you're like, oh my gosh. And that's how it felt for me. It was, it was truly one of the coolest moments of my career. Yeah, it was really good. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Boom, hey, I get asked a lot, man. I say, hey, how do you continue to level up yourself? I had someone earlier on Zoom say, dude, I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to make six, seven hundred thousand dollars this year. I don't wanna get complacent. Well, you start making a lot of money.